Hey everybody, I'm back with an updated video here. Um, I previously created this app that will help me control aspects of the car, dash, scanner, things like that. Uh, recently I updated to uh, be able to change the voice from kit, car, and then I also have like broken like slash damaged voice, uh, and then the original classic voice, um, things like that I just added recently here. but. Another cool thing that I've added is a two-way communication. So um, I can control the, the dash in the car functions here, but if anybody is like sitting in the car, pushing buttons on the dash, changing the voice, um, turning on the scanner and stuff, it'll actually show here as well. It'll, it'll update the app as well. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. Hello. Yes. I heard you the first time. Hi there. Activate. No problem. So you can see it. Dash is on. It's on normal mode. And uh, so I hit auto. It changes it. America needs more automation. Much more. If you make very brief comments, it's hard for me to follow you. Could you please use complete, longer sentences? Yes, I'm sorry. You really hurt my feelings. How long will you be sorry? All right. Let me stand back here so I can talk to you. Okay, so, so that's how that works. Um, if I wanted to change his voice, do that too. Uh, if I want to change it to like car, say something. Please say something upbeat and encouraging. <laughs> Switch to broken voice. Okay, have you reflected what the consequences might be to yourself? No, I haven't. I will not deny it. Switch to old voice. Okay, I do not exactly understand you. <laughs> Scan the area. So yeah, you can kind of get the idea here. So that's that's the latest. Um, you know, it uh, it has two-way communication now. So that it was painful to get working, but I finally got it figured out here, and it's a pretty cool little option here to have. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think.